Okay, this is something just a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys how to sync Nano Loop 2.3 to a couple of different things, which is kind of cool. Um, here we have a standard Game Boy, which um, you can run LSD gel. Here I have my LSD day cartridge, so let's just start that up. Um, part of the reason that this took a while to get out was because the um, Grayscale Game Boy really doesn't show up well at all on <laughs> the digital camera, but this is just a very simple little kick drum pattern. Here we have Nano Loop 2.3 um, in a Game Boy SP. It's got the SP because the SP has the link port, the DS doesn't. While that's starting up, I've got my DMG to DMG link cable and my um, pocket Game Boy pocket adapter thing so I can connect the two. Let's do that now. The DMG is now synced, sunked, sanken, whatever. And the SP is starting up. The SP is also synced. So my DMG at the moment is just going kick drum. If we move up to the top menu, I'm assuming that you know how to do this, you can hold down uh, A and you can change to different sync types. Unsurprisingly, you want to select Nano, which stands for Nano Loop. Um, on Nano Loop, we'll just throw down... Sorry about this, it's really difficult to juggle all the different systems. Oh, and the observant can probably see me in the reflection. Um, in the noise channel, let's just throw down... Uh, a couple of just sort of hi-hat type sounds. Um, if you look at the DMG, you can see this tempo is set to 128. Um, on the SP, it's set to 120, it doesn't really matter. If you press select, move to the far right, um, you will see the little double arrows. If you press A and B at the same time, you will see Nano Loop pauses in the top right hand corner up here. If you press start on your DMG, you will see they sync. Hooray! Isn't that great? While it's synced, if you want to, you can um, add in a few extra notes. You can add in extra kick drums, whatever you want to do. Um, you can even go to Nano Loop and you can load in one of our other little patterns. And it's all staying in sync. If you move up to the top screen of LSDJ and you go to BPM, you can speed things up. And everything speeds up, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. And you can slow everything down. So everything's really, really slow. So LSDJ syncing with Nano Loop 2.3 pretty simple, so let's try something else. Um, if you press stop, everything stops. Sorry, if you press start on the DMG, everything stops. Okay. Um, I'm not a Nano Loop 1.5 user at all, but I do have a cartridge, so let's give this a try. I'm not a 1.5 expert in any way, shape, or form, so please don't worry too much um, if this doesn't work well. But we will see. So let's turn Nano Loop back on again. Uh, hello, Nano Loop. Uh, uh. Okay, let's load up a little pattern here. Something nice and simple. Um, press start, uh, select twice, move to this little arrow, um, press A and B, and you can see Nano Loop is waiting again 
for uh, incoming signal. Um, 1.5 is currently in my DMG and when you turn it on you will get to the start screen ping nano loop press start you can see nano loop has now moved up to the top corner waiting and it's now running um, they're both running at the same speed if you add in ooh, a couple of kick drums. Oh, that's conveniently not going to be a kick drum. Okay, I will very, very quickly load kick drum pan. Um, once again, you can add stuff in on Nano Loop 2.3. while everything's running. Um, if you go on nano loop 1.5 you can speed things up. Things seem to stay reasonably in sync. And that's spinking with nano loop 2.3 and 1.5. Um, pretty simple. Um, and we can now see if we can turn this off. Um, One more fun thing, I'm not sure, if, I've no idea if this is going to work at all, but here I have another flash out with the demo wrong of Nano Voice on it. I don't know if this is going to sync or not, but let's give it a try. Um, I'm really curious about this, actually. Um, I've only been using Nano Loop for, sorry, Nano Voice for a little tiny amount of time, and I really don't know if it's going to work or not. So here we have Nano Voice. Um, start and A B, I believe, is set to um, sync with Nano Voice. Sorry, Nano Loop 2.3 is just starting up at the moment. Okay. Um, Let's put down a couple of notes in 2.3. Oh, sorry, I've pulled out the connector. And let's hit start. Yeah, so we press um, start and A, B on nano voice. Um, and then you press I actually pressed A, B, and start on, um, sorry, A, B to go to external sync and then start to go to internal sync on nano loop. And then everything seemed to work okay. So here we can add in a few more weird, whatever the hell you want to call it, weird ass noises on nano voice. Um, in theory, if we speed things up, on um, nano loop, it should speed up on nano voice as well. Let's give it a try. There you go. Um, let's load our kick drum pattern. A bit boring, maybe. Yeah, something a little bit more interesting. So we've managed to successfully sync nano loop 2.3 with three different things, and I was only planning two. I'm quite happy with that. Um, and you can, I assume, add extra stuff in Nano Voice. Yes, you can. Fantastic. Oh, sorry, that was me pressing A and B on the Nano Loop 2.3 Game Boy, which made everything freeze. Don't do that. <laughs> um, turn everything off, and I have a final track for you. Which was by, was it by Phase Shift? Um, hang on a second. Sorry, I had a track all queued up and I can't find it. Sorry, I'm checking ABC. There you are. Yes, it's Era of Filth by Phase Shift, which is down there. And hello, 8-Bit Collective. Thank you for listening and watching.